That's Professor Peter Riley, the Director of Neurosurgery at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. There's a trainee surgeon with him, and just on this side by the instruments is Trudy Bazillus, who's the clinical nurse in charge of the nursing team in this operating theatre today. And I'm Keith Conlon behind all this. And on postcards today, a preview of what you can see next week as the Royal Adelaide Hospital opens the general theatre complex for an open day. Now, you're obviously not going to see this. This is a brain operation. It started when a young man, 21-year-old, was having a CAT scan for uh, some hearing problem. But quite by chance, they discovered a benign cyst, a little gelatinous cyst deep in the brain, really right in the middle of the brain. Now, at the moment, it's not doing anything to harm him, but if it started to affect the fluid in the brain, then it could be very serious. He could even die. We've just opened the dura, which is the lining inside the skull, and we're looking at the surface of the right cerebral, cerebral hemisphere, the right side of the brain, right in the midline, and uh, we now have to go down between the um, this lining uh, and the brain directly to where the uh, small cyst is. The complex has been here since 1990 and in that time it's seen 60 or 70 operations every weekday. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and works through till 6 or later at night. And it's run by the Director of Nursing of the RAH. Now we'll find out why that's so as we go on a preview tour, if you like, and meet some of the dozens of nurses who have dedicated themselves to this specialty, to operating theatre and recovery nursing. This is just one of the operating theatres. They're not very often vacant like this in the Royal Adelaide Hospital General Operating Complex. In here, for instance, in Theatre 5, there's a major operation going on. It's on the aorta, the major blood vessel. People who have uh, suffered some sort of trauma in South Australia or Northern Territory or some parts of Northern New South Wales even could end up here. First of all in emergency surgery downstairs but any rehab work, any repair work, well they'll end up in here. This one's not one of those, that's a, a hernia operation that's just uh, coming to completion in there. How things have changed since the first operating theatre in the Royal Adelaide Hospital on this site on North Terrace when it was actually conducted uh, the operation on the dining room table and uh, the whole thing doubled as a chapel on Sundays. And when you think about it, maybe operating hadn't changed much then from the days of the Celtic warrior surgeons 300 BC or in Nelson's time, say on his flagship, when the main job of a nurse was to feed the patient lots of rum and then hold him down while the surgeon sawed off a leg. Actually, it, it really all began to change quite dramatically with Joseph Lister saying, as all these nurses understand these days, that surgery has to be aseptic, it has to be ultra clean. And then uh, there was Pasteur discovering that there are microbes, there are bugs, germs in the air everywhere. So really it's just over a century ago that the operating theatres started to act a bit like they do today and nurses started to play a totally different role, in fact a key role, as they'll be very keen to tell you next Sunday when all of this, the whole complex at the RAH, is having an open day. Take your blood pressure. Everything seems to go going very well. Anne-Marie is just talking to Peter, who's had a spinal anaesthetic today for some minor surgery on the sort of bottom half of his body. And he's one of 200 or more patients who come in here every week. This is the recovery ward of the Royal Adelaide Hospital, and it's attached to the general theatre complex. And the role of the specialist nurses in here is, in a way, to give you, I suppose, a forgettable experience. Most of us don't remember very much about what happens in here if we come through here. The nurses here are the unseen Samaritans in a way, certainly good Samaritans, but they are highly trained, high-tech nurses. Because really, when you come in from the theatres here, you've been sedated in there, you've been paralysed in there, and you've had analgesic, you've had a lot of pain relief. Their job is to sort of bring you back, I suppose, to living normally in here. So they look for your vital signs, they look for your airway to be open and starting to work again naturally, and they look for any complications from the anaesthetic or from the particular operation you've had. So recovery here is in a very strong tradition.